Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Shuck. I make videos for NBA. I make videos for NFL. All these videos, they get posted on this subreddit right here. It's called DF Sports with one S. Um, I made my post. I have to re-record this video for some reason. Um, the whole thing acted up. Um, not sure why, so I'm re-recording this. But yeah, um, username Shuck. I make updates with all the news that comes out throughout the, throughout the day. You can see here. Um, where is it? This is my post from today. I, I make updates with all the news, what that changes for me, what I like. You can ask me questions about the slate. Um, I'll always reply to you, stuff like that. Question on pivots, anything you need, I'll be there. And if you ever need to get a hold of me privately, you can do so on Twitter. Here are my ads on Twitter. If Twitter doesn't work through message, you can always message me on Reddit um, as well. So um, before we do that, um, like I said, the Reddit post will be linked down below. And if you are interested in joining my Discord where, you know, I have in-depth content going over each slate. I give you guys prize picks plays, um, you know, cores for cash, GPPs, whole bunch of stuff. Showdown content, uh, night slate content, night slate cores, all that, all that good stuff. That'll be in the Reddit post as well. So let's go into my lineups from uh, tonight. I had a really, really, really good night tonight. Um, but if you want to, I actually... Um, swept the board on prize picks i can't play prize picks but um we swept the board today you can see what i took i took Ubre points cd mccollum fantasy score so i had a really really good feeling that ingram was going to be out today and they'd see his line only at 38 so i thought that was a smash scotty barnes assists one bpra jordan clarkson fantasy yaka Pertle points plus rebounds so swept the board on prize picks today if you guys want me to i'll do uh prize picks recaps every day on these videos but if you want um don't have to but yeah it's been good prize picks been good even though i can't play um but yeah um going over my lineup from today oh also we had some huge winners in um uh discord to just uh shout them out um where is it where is it where is it um second place on so unfortunate bad beat. Um, he was winning. He was in first place in the hundred dollar single entry, and then Devin Booker got that last assist after they called a timeout. He comes back in, gets a last assist. Trey Jones goes to the free throw line, makes both, and then they pull Devin Booker. Just unbelievable bad luck. I feel. I feel for you. I do. Um, but my lineups from today, um, as you can see, I played the Hawkins chalk. He was one. He was one of the best plays in the slate. Can't have it. Can't be results oriented. Just can't. Um, he was one of the best plays in the slate. Um, he was a core play for me. CJ McCollum was a core play for me, and um, Jordan Clarkson was a core play for me as well. And then you can see I got to the magic. I told everyone once Marco Fultz got rolled out that Suggs, Cole Anthony, Paolo, Franz, Wanakar Jr. They're some of the best plays on the slate. Um, so that's what I did. I loaded up in this game and it worked out. It paid off massively. Jalen Suggs got in a massive foul trouble, but he still did well. Paolo absolutely nuked. And then Markinen is just terrible. Um, if I could have got to Devin Booker somehow, this lineup would have just been nuke. Um, uh, my other lineup, same thing. I just played Cole Anthony and Franz instead of Paolo and Suggs. Um, uh, so cash both. Great day there. Night slate, even better. Um, my night slate core today was Clarkson, Franz, Cole Anthony, and I want to say Suggs, I think was. I think that was my core. And then, you know, I ran it out of my lineup with, you know, Devin Booker. Phenomenal second half performance from him. Keldon Johnson shot like 1 of 500 from the field. One O'Carr Jr. foul trouble, unfortunate there. So, but really, really good day. Cashed every single slate, so that was great. All right, let's move on to the seven-game slate breakdown. Cleveland at Indiana, so pretty. I mean, it's a good spot for Cleveland, but not much stands out to me to me here. Even if Garland and Bochier Allen are out. Um, I, if they're both in, if, if Garland's not on a limit, I actually do kind of like him. Um, but I think he's priced about right. Um, I just think he'll be a pretty good low owned option, but, um, we'll see if he's on a limit. Jared Allen, I would assume be on a limit. So 
probably can't go there. And then Donovan Mitchell, Evan Mobley, they'd be overpriced. Karis LeVert would be out of play. Uh, Max Struess overpriced. Okoro, no thank you. Like, it'd just be very, very unappealing. If they're both out, then, you know, I guess you could consider Mitchell. I guess you could consider Mobley. Um, I would like their ceilings. I think, I, I think they'd be priced about right still. But I would like their ceilings quite a bit. And I, uh, depending on the ownership, I would have some interest. So, um, I like Mitchell. I like Mobley if they're both out. But I think they're priced where they should be right now. Levert, no thank you at that price point. Struess, he'll play huge minutes. It's just up to if he hits a shot or not. Would be playable. Don't love the price point, though. And then, um, on this slate, I don't think I'd want to really get to anything else. Like a Coro, fine. Wade, fine. Um, but, yeah. Niang had a good game, but, meh. Don't think I can do it. All right, Pacers. Big news here is going to be Halliburton. If he is in, in a bad spot, um, environment-wise, I don't love the price point on him. Miles Turner, I think, seems priced right. Everyone else would just be disgusting. If Halliburton's out, then, you know... Nothing really changes for me besides I would like Nemhard and TJ McConnell. So I told everyone in my Discord, and this is what pays off. If you look at the past, if you go to Pacers games from last year that blew out with Halliburton out, TJ McConnell was the one getting the blowout run. It didn't happen all the time, and it doesn't make sense to happen. Like, they should be giving it to their young guys like Nemhard. Um, Shepard, etc. Like, it doesn't make sense to give TJ a blowout run, but he was the one getting some of the blowout run. Um, so, we had some people play TJ in Discord. He absolutely nuked. Um, but if Halliburton's out, I think my main interest from the Pacers are going to be Nemhard and TJ. I would just prefer the guy who starts. Like, Nemhard shot the ball 17 times and lost a ton of minutes from the blowout. I think that's definitely an outlier. I think a lot of people aren't going to want to click on him after this. So, I would like Nemhard quite a bit as a bounce back spot at 5K. TJ McConnell would be solid too, but I prefer Nemhard. And then you'll probably get boost to, like, you know, Naismith, um, Matherin. They would just be contrarian options still to me. Um, I think the main interest would just be TJ and them hard to me. All right, so this game just looks disgusting. Um, but Brunson, Randall, they're both in play to me. I think Randall is fine. He's just been shooting the ball really, really bad. But the good thing is he's going to play huge minutes. Good rebounder. If he does have a good shooting game, he could break the slate at this price point. So I do have interest in Randall just for that sole reason. Brunson, same kind of thing. Um, he is also going to play huge minutes as well and does have a ceiling. I just don't like the envi environment here. I think they're both priced right, but they're playable for tournaments. RJ Barrett does have a ceiling if he's hitting his shots, but don't love the price point there. Quickly, no. Mitchell Robinson at 5'5". Five five. I always like because he does have like 40 fantasy point upside when he does go for games like this. But now going up against Milwaukee at 5.5K, I think that's priced right. And I wouldn't like much else. Now, if RJ Barrett's out, that does change some things. Then I would be looking to the value for the Knicks. So like Brunson, Randall, they'd still be fine plays. But I would like Josh Hart and Dante quite a bit for value. So Josh Hart played um, 29 minutes, shot the ball terribly. He's a guy that can pretty much do everything. Good rebounder, um, probably plays around 30 minutes. 4-7 would be, would be too cheap, so I would like Josh Hart for value quite a bit. And then Dante played 30 minutes. I would think he would be a pretty good value as well. So I would like the two value guys here in the um, on the New York Knicks if R.J. Barrett's out. And then not much else changes for me. Um, I guess I'll mention Isaiah Hardenstein. If you think Mitchell, Ro Mitchell Robinson go gets into foul trouble, um, Isaiah Hartenstein will benefit from that. And he's a good point per minute guy. We already don't have a ton of value on this slate. So if you want like a large field tournament dart and like 150 max, I guess you could do it in single entry if not a ton of value opens up. I don't mind it. I, I, I think it's fine. And then uh, uh, I just, I'm not going to play Grimes. I just can't do it. Can't do it. All right, Buck. So I'm very, very tempted by a sub 11K Giannis. I really, really am. So he's too cheap. Once again, the pace of this game isn't great, but sign me up for some sub 11K Giannis. So I like Giannis as a sped up. Dame, no thank you. Middleton's on a limit. Hard to go there. <clears throat> Brooke Lopez, hard to go there. I think I prefer Mitch on the other side. Bobby Portals will get around 20 minutes off the bench. Seems priced right. I'm not going to touch the rest of the value here. 
All right, Brooklyn. Brook, yeah. All right, Brooklyn. We're going to have to monitor the injury to Dimwitty. He was out last game. I played him here too as well where he got injured. Now, if Dimwitty's in, I want to say they started Ben Simmons at the five with Dimwitty in. I don't remember entirely. Um, let me pull up. Let me pull it up. I want to say they did. Why did they have that guard? Can one of you let me know if they started Ben Simmons at the five? I, I feel like they did. Um, but if we get the same starting lineup of Ben, Dimwitty, Dorian, Cam, Mikel, then assuming Ben did start at the five, it's going to open up a little bit more ball handling opportunity for Dimwitty. I would like Dimwitty at 6'4", if he's not on a limit. He would probably be my favorite point per dollar. I think Ben Simmons, if he starts at the five, would be a solid play. Even if he starts um, at the point, I would like him quite a bit. Cam Thomas would just be fine with Dimwitty in. Bridges, I would like his ceiling would be fine. And then, you know, the value kind of gets a little bit murky from there. Now, if Dimity's out, then I think, you know, Ben Simmons is a pretty good play. I would like Cam Thomas' ceiling. I would like Mikhail Bridges' ceiling. And then we'd have some value here in Dorian Finney Smith, Royce O'Neill, who I think would be two solid plays, two very, very safe plays um, if Dimity's out. They both played huge minutes. Royce, 39 minutes, and I want to say Dorian pushed for 30. Yep. So would would like both those guys if Dimity's out, and then it is a different spot. So they're going up against Vooch. Maybe we could see Dayron Sharp um, start in this spot. If he would start in this spot, he would then shoot up to one of the best value plays on um, the slate. Chicago, so Levine's probable. Um, you know, I think their price points are intriguing. I think my favorite is probably going to be Levine, assuming no limit, which I would expect him not to be. Um, so I like Levine. I think Vooch, DeRozan, they're both playable. Kobe White, I think it's just fine. Just safe to me at 5-1, and I'm not going to play anyone else. Warriors, probably the most unappealing team on the slate to me. I think Steph's fine for tournaments. Chris Paul is overpriced. Clay's overpriced. Looney, no thanks. Wiggins, no thanks. Um, I think I'm mainly looking to the value here for the Warriors. Like, Draymond Green played 28 minutes last game. If we get news that they're going to uptick his minutes, then I kind of do have some interest in Draymond Green at 6.2K. So, if you want like a tournament play that I do like that I think is sneaky, it's Draymond Green at 6.2K if we're going to get 28 plus minutes again. Um, we know what he's going to do, right? He's going to stuff the statue when he's out there. So, I do have some interest in Draymond. I think the value plays are interesting here. So, Gary Payton's going to get decent run off the bench. Dario Sarge's minutes have been pretty solid off the bench as well. I think they're both interesting for value if you need the salary relief. All right, OKC, SGA out. I think Josh Giddy looks great. So with SGA out, Josh Giddy's usage goes way, way up. His fantasy rates go way, way up. He's going to do a lot more ball handling. His floor goes way up. His ceiling goes way up. Love Giddy tomorrow. I think Czech gets, gets a usage bump as well. I like him quite a bit. The guy that gets a huge boost, though, is Jalen Williams at 6'5". Um, I, I haven't looked at his rates, but I know from last year his usage and rates go way, way up. So I like him quite a bit. Lou Dort will get some more shots up. Playable. And then we'll see who starts. Could be Joe. Could be a number of guys. I don't know. We'll see. If Joe starts, I like him quite a bit. He'll probably get more run anyway if he comes off the bench, too. Interesting. But if he starts, I like him quite a bit. Um, Case and Wallace, 5-4, no thank you. And then we'll just monitor what the starting lineup is there. Tough spot for Washington. I think this team's basically just a cross-off for me. Um, I guess if Gafford's in, I don't love much. I think Tyus would be my favorite play at 5-7. I um, actually think Tyus is solid. Um, price came down a little bit. Stuff this that sheet. She'll play around 30 minutes. Um, so, like Tyus, but not much else. Kuz, Poole, Dave Ceilings. Denny, I think, is overpriced. Um, cool volley if Gafford's in, takes a hit. So, um, yeah, there wouldn't be much. If Gafford's out, then I guess we could get to some things. If they do start Kuzma at the five, then I actually do like Kuzma. If they start Muscala at the five, I actually think Muscala is a solid value at the flatman. If they start Kula Bali, then I think Kula Bali is a solid value. Also, we'll get blowout run as well. So, actually, there could be some value here. And I, I do like Tyus, and I think Kuzma I'd like if he starts at the five. Miami, so Butler's probable. It's a good spot. I mean, you guys know I love targeting Daniel Gafford, and 
So I think Bam's solid if Gafford plays. If Gafford's out, he should be able to feast with whoever they put up on him. So I think it's a really good spot for Bam. So I do like Bam quite a bit. Probably be really low owned too. Harrow, Butler, I think they're fine. Kyle Lowry, no thank you. And I like Kevin Love for value. Should play around 20 minutes, solid point per minute. Don't mind that. And then Jay Rich played 30 minutes. Last game, playable. Dallas. So Kyrie, questionable. If he's in, it's just Luka for me at the top. If he's out, then I like Luka. Um, Tim Hardaway Jr. gets a bump. Should play around 30 minutes. Does have a ceiling when he's hitting shots. Fair play. And then, you know, Grant, Josh Green, Derek Jones Jr., they all get bumps. I, I think Josh Green would be my favorite of that group. There's no way I'm playing Derek Jones Jr. I'll let the fish chase him. There's no way. No one. I, I can't believe Derek Jones Jr. is doing this. Um, but if you want to go for it, if you want to ride the hot streak, go for it. But um, would like Green, Grant would be fine. Would like Tim, Luke would be good. Jokic is in just a phenomenal spot here. It's just probably my favorite spend up on the slate right now. Probably, if I had to say. So I absolutely love Jokic. He should just be able to feast up against this Dallas front court. Um, Jamal Murray, I think, is fine at 7 9. Doesn't really stand out to me. Um, Gordon MPJ, don't love either. Um, prefer MPJ to Gordon, even though MPJ has gotten benched. Um, I believe this game, yeah, got benched this game. So be a little bit careful there. I guess Gordon's safer if you want ceiling, go MPJ. KCP, no thank you. Braun, no thank you. And then Reggie will get the backup point. All right, this game looks great. So I, I really like Bain. I really like Jaron. Marcus Smart at 6'8", I still think is solid. Um, going to handle the ball a ton, stuff the stat sheet. Um, but my main interest here is Bain and Jaron. I, I still think they're priced decently. Um, and I think this game should be pretty good. Um, you know, Bain's probably going to get 20 plus shot attempts up, um, handling the ball some as well. Um, Jaron Jackson Jr., you know, obviously we know what he's going to do. Good defender, can get defensive stats, good rebounder. Um, probably also going to shoot the ball 20 plus times. So pretty high on Bain, pretty high on Jaron. I think Tillman's just safe to me at this price point. I don't think I'll kill you. Don't think I'll win you anything. Zaire Williams, um, is Santi back? No, okay. Doubtful, so Zaire Williams, I think is very safe value. Um, and then, you know, with Derek Rose out, Santi, Santi calls out, you're going to see more run for like Conchar, Roddy, Kennard. They're all playable values. All right, Portland, my favorite team to target. No Simons, no Scoot. I absolutely love Sharp. I absolutely love Brogdon. Sharp's going to play 40-plus minutes. I assume Brogdon will start play huge minutes. I absolutely love both. I think DeAndre Ayton's a very solid play. I think Jeremy Grant's a really solid play. I think Kamara is going to get decent run off the bench. I like him quite a bit for value. Not a terrible point-per-minute guy. Was good in the summer league as well. Couldn't pay me to play Thibel, but he's playable. Jabari Walker will get more run. Interesting large field tournament dart. Um, might even see more run for, like, Skylar Mays, maybe. Um, so, yeah, this team looks phenomenal. Um, so, I think it's going to wrap it up for the video. I hope you all had a great night tonight, and I will talk to you all tomorrow.